Hello guys, how are you doing? SimUK here. This is Ultimate Fishing 2 Simulator. I've got an early access copy. Uh, this game is going to release on the 22nd of August 2022 and it's going to release in early access. So this is published by Ultimate Games and developed by Mastercode. I've taken a look uh, quite a while back now at the very early access demo and it's fair to say it showed an awful lot of promise but had some graphical issues and a few bugs here and there but that was very very early alpha uh, sort of beta te excuse me alpha or beta testing this is um a preview at the finished article still pre-release so there may be some changes and whatnot on release day so uh I'm really keen to jump in and have a quick look at this. This is my very first look and like every video I make, it's unedited so you can see everything exactly how the game delivers it. You can see the loading times, the graphical problems, the good, the bad, the excellent and everything in between. Um, I just like to keep things honest and real. I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just here showcasing the game to you. And I haven't fished for quite a long time. So uh, yeah, don't expect uh, miracles. So we've got the option for normal, best for new players. Some features aren't available. For example, underwater camera. Hang on. In normal? Oh, I see. Normal is best for new players. In realistic mode, some features aren't available. For example, the underwater camera, the bite alarms, teleporting and weather changing capabilities also has separate rankings. Wow, that already is very, very positive having separate rankings i think that's really important so many games don't do that for example um f1 racing when you're doing time lapse um uh, some people are racing in third per third person camera and it's just so much easier to see the corner etc things like that I, th I think it's really important that um those playing on a realistic setting have their own leaderboard if you if you will the only downside of playing on realistic and realistic is how i play is you don't get that underwater camera which is a really fantastic selling point for this game um i think it would be really nice if you could have the underwater camera maybe like a replay mode so when you catch a fish you can replay the whole instance of it um, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you the underwater camera today. Oh, shall I? Let me, I tell you what, I tell you what, let's do a normal mode with a female character and, uh, uh let's say Sim UK Junior, because I know my daughter would like to play this. No spaces allowed, you'll notice. Okay. And then I can show you the underwater cam, and then I'll go over and do the pro as well. So, oh, this has changed quite a bit. I like this. This is my profile slash fishing net. We've got the residents. I'd forgotten about the residents. I, I, do you know what? I suspect this is going to be really good. Um, I liked the original Ultimate Fishing Simulator, but it lacked realism um it was a little it, it was a little bit arcadey in the terms of how it looked and so on they have really based on uh, the demo i played quite some months back they have really pushed the boat out on trying to make everything look real including the characters and look at this oh wow oh man alive this is something else I wasn't expecting this. My eyes are watering. Jesus, I am impressed. Oh, man. So, uh, right. I'm thinking we can take photos of environments and just l light this place up and totally make it our own. Holy banana milk. Oh, this is sensational. I, I wouldn't be surprised if these are the developers out there actually fishing, which is really cool. Wow, that looks a little bit suspect, doesn't it? I wouldn't want to be standing on the edge of that, I tell you. Not even with the counterbalance. Oh, this is going to be insane. So we'll actually be able to keep some fish that we catch and put them in. Tanks. Oh, man, this is looking really good. This is off the charts. I'm so excited to get out there and catch some fish. 
Right. Sorry, I'm getting over over excited. This is the first time I've looked at this, guys. This, I'm experiencing this for the first time with you. Mouse sensitivity, uh, controller setup, controller vibration. I do like the vibration in the controller. It does sort of add something to the fishing experience. High GUI is G, Eagle Eye is V. I don't think I'll have Eagle Eye in uh, Pro mode, but that's okay. So you're going to have five sets. Recast is Q. All right. It, I, it's all coming back to me. It has been a while since I played. Oh, hello. Let's let's go fishing. Oh, I can't go fishing. Can't join any tournaments. So set one. We got a UFE Feeder Master 270, 2.7 meter whip rod. I'm guessing that is. Looks like it's telescopic. Uh, Barracuda three kilogram reel. Okay. Uh, mono line 12 mil 78 kilograms not very strong uh, set one leader 2.5 kilograms oh that's interesting okay and uh, a Robinson classic twist 87 centimeter uh, uh, of some sort interesting okay uh, is that the hook oh that's the hook oh hook and lure that's do you know I've never seen anything like that in my life I could see what it is. It looks like a maggot, and I bet, I bet it all lights up under the water. Christ almighty. Potentially, that could be incredibly effective. Good lord. Set two, live bait. Ah, that's a teller rod. Okay. Four meter, nearly. And then three, four, and five are all empty. Accessories. We've got rod supports. Items unavailable go to the shop. Go to the shop. Oh my gosh. So you can buy packages. Three lures for third level. 56, 55. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this in game money or is this real money? <gasps> it's in game money. Okay. I don't even know where my money is. Why can't I see? Oh, hang on. Oh, I had a thousand dollars. Okay, so I just bought three lures for third level in a bundle. That's so cool. I just find that really amazing. You could buy complete fishing sets, spinning for beginners. Oh, that's really expensive. Nine hundred and twelve dollars. That would take all my money. Oh wow, they got up to like seven thousand for a set. I love spinning. I really like spinning. So we've got universal rods, float rods, spinning rods, casting rods, feeder rods. They're not loading. Why are they not loading? Not sure. Maybe I have to unlock them. Universal reels, spinning reels, casting reels. I don't know if this is broken or maybe I haven't unlocked these things. Maybe they're coming later. I don't know. I don't know. Loads of line, fluorescent line, braided line, floats. I love floats. Something about floats. I had one of them. I had I had hundreds of these. The waggler. I had hundreds of wagglers. Oh my god. Taking me back to my childhood. A couple of these. Bobber Tech Fat RGB. Nice. A couple of those. I had one, um, I had one float that was made out of a porcupine quill. It was my, my dad's dad's, my, it's my stepdad, but his, his father, my step grandfather, um, who unfortunately I'd never met before he died. But, um, I did end up with his quill, um, float and I love that thing. Oh, I really love that thing. Um, okay. So we've got loads of oh, some sinkers, some balls, some sport, some pole, some wagglers, some sliders. I do like wagglers. So we've got some leaders. I don't really, I don't remember what a leader is, but they're not showing up anyway, for whatever reason. 
feeder baskets okay that's pretty cool lots of hooks some of them are not showing up right now perhaps because i need to unlock them so we've got some natural baits what's that pea cherry interesting and liver and then we've got some live baits caddis fly casters a proper fly look at the detail on this a dragonfly grasshopper a shrimp god we're going to catch some big ass fish i tell you artificial lures now i've never seen this style before but i could see how this one would really be like a flipping discotheque going off under the water spoons i love spoons spinners actually i prefer spoons over spinners truth be told but anyway soft baits frogs minnows top waters oh wow that's cool crank baits spinner baits we got some sinkers i remember these i used to have to bite these with my teeth they're made out of lead so dangerous <laughs> we wouldn't do that today i wouldn't they wouldn't be able to sell them today but back in the day they're, i'm pretty sure they were made out of lead we used to bite them together tight with our teeth those were the days some rod supports that's cool 250 quid for a rod support double rod support bloody hell I could find a twig and stick it in the ground for less. Slingshots, bite alarms. Okay, lots of cool stuff. Absolutely tons, tons of equipment. I am so excited to get a fish in here. What would be in here, do you think? A stuffed fish? Like your favourite catches or something? It's got to be, isn't it, really? It's got to be. By the way, if you can hear drilling in the background, I apologise. It's the neighbour's uh, roof or attic being converted. They're normally pretty quiet, but uh, not today. <laughs> okay. Um, right. How do we go? How do we actually go fishing? So I've been to the shop, been to the equipment, been to the settings. If I go back, exit location. There we go. So I have to leave the house. And now I can go fishing. Oh, tournaments are open to me. Fishing is open to me. Welcome. Welcome in. Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Do you want to start the tutorial? Yes. Yes, I do. Slightly long loading time, to be fair. Now the music seems to have gone off. Now I'm a little bit concerned that the game has crashed. Oh no, we good. We good. Loading shaders, right. Now the last time I looked at this, which was quite a few months ago, it looked nice, but it just didn't feel completely realistic. It felt a bit off. The lighting was off, some of the... Some of the animations and stuff were off but the potential was incredible so now they've had probably about six months maybe longer to develop it more i am super stoked to see what this looks like now that is quite a long loading time isn't it so this is why this is why i i do these unedited videos so you can really you know exactly what you're going to get you're not you know, these super hyper entertainment based videos that are just trying to sell you a game. You know, I, I think this game is impressing me already and I haven't even got to the fishing yet. But, you know, I could cut all this out and make it just seem really snappy and really tight. But the reality is you're going to have to be a little bit relaxed, a little bit patient. Possibly after the first time of loading it, it's going to be a lot shorter a loading time, but... 
as loading times go, this is quite long, running an i9-9900K 3080 um, RTX graphics card, uh, running on an SSD, got 32 gigs of RAM, running at 3200 megahertz. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't have a slouch of a PC, so there's a bit of a uh, bit of work possibly to be done in the loading times. This I may have to pause just so you don't have to listen to me prattle on for uh, for too long. I can turn my phone off because my mother is showcasing some uh, holiday snaps, which uh, could go on quite a long time. By the way, things. Um, Okay, I'm going to pause the video for a minute until we come to the actual location. Okay, guys, so for complete uh, crystal clarity, uh, I waited quite a while and it just didn't appear. I could hear it in the background, but it just wouldn't show up. So I shut the game down, started again, and this time around it loaded much, much quicker. Like within about 20 seconds, it was probably less than that. It was fully loaded and in the game. So here we are. Um, looks a bit, oh, those mountains in the background are sort of really dominating the scene here, but that water looks nice, really nice. And the performance seems to have improved because that is not glitchy and stripping out like it was back in the demo. Or oh, was a bit of a stutter there. Worth noting, I'm playing 4K 60fps, um, so there's a lot of headroom to improve performance or whatever the only thing i'm a bit concerned about is maybe the tutorial has disappeared definitely getting some some stutters there now it may just be a case of it's loading stuff into the memory and once it's fully loaded that won't happen anymore can i fall in the water question number one Game won't let you fall in the water now if this is the same as the previous version i wonder if i can get up there if it's the same as the previous version there's a water mill over there somewhere yeah we're getting a bit of uh stutteration nothing quite like it was in the dem in the demo uh, let's go to graphics 4K full screen overall quality is low. Really? Change it to high. Oh yeah. Well according to my recording software we're still getting a solid 60 FPS, but in game it certainly feels like not that smooth. Definitely still getting those stutters. Let me play around with this a little bit. Um, texture quality, blur is off, bloom is on, chromatic aberration on, anti aliasing TXAA is fine, shadows on water on, water reflections on. I mean, it looks really nice. It looks, it looks almost photorealistic. I mean, it really is impressive. So there's the water mill that I was talking about before. It really does look a lot better. I'm going to have to play about with my settings and try and get the, uh, the little micro stutters gone. I can't hear that water mill at all. There should be some water noise emanating from there and I can't hear anything. What I can hear is over there. Very loud over there. A bit odd. 
Right, so let me see if I can kickstart the tutorial again. Um, help. Okay, so that's just a built-in info thingy. Okay, open fishing net. No, no, no. Back. Tab for quick help. WSAD is move, shift is run, space is jump, 1, 2, 3 is for the sets, plus is inventory, M is teleport, unavailable in realistic mode, uh, weather change, unavailable in realistic mode as well, flashlight, and G to turn off the HUD, F3, ah, is this the tutorial? Catch a fish of any species that weighs at least one kilogram. All right, let's just cast out and uh, see what we've got. So we've got some sort of lily pads and stuff right here. Okay, that went bloody miles. I very much don't remember any of the uh, controls for this. I heard something over there. This feels great, honestly. It looks great. It feels incredible. Those micro stutters are the only thing that I'm not really digging right now. What the freaking hell? I nearly had a fish there. Did you see that? What is he doing? Like he's swim swimming around on top of the thing. Uh, right, I, really, I want to float. Try this. Absolutely no idea where that landed. I see it. it's over there by the lily pads right so I'm watching it there's a duck there's a duck there weren't ducks before that's new it's kind of weird that you can see under the water I think that's making it look a bit odd oh hello How do you strike? Forgotten how you strike. Hello, fishy. Oh, here's the tree logs. I remember them. I don't know where they come from. The ducks just go straight through the tree logs. Okay. That's a weird looking duck. Duck. Right, let's try this again. So... Underwater camera is you. That's why I did this. I wanted to show you, didn't I? There's no strike button. Go underwater. Look at this. It's such a unique selling point for the game, this is. And what's cool is the water is taking the lure, everything that way. That's a big ass fish. Look at this. Is he? He's not. Is he? Is he going to ever go? Oh, I just went past. I, I could probably increase the uh, the leader length. To be fair, I think I can move the camera around. Yeah, I can. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? That's a big ass fish over there. That looks like a pike. Or is that a log? I think it might be a log. <laughs> Swimming sideways. There's the duck. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. So we're right in the middle of a bunch of fish here. Another duck. 
I could maybe pull the line in a little bit, like so. That looks good. I like that position. There's a lot of fish over that side. I feel like maybe I, I, I should increase the leader length, but... Oh, 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 oh! Let's get out of underwater cam. It's only a little fish. But we'll take him. Look at that! A grass pickerel. Uh, 0 0.21 kilograms, 20.27 centimetres in length. It's worth 45 cents. That's all right for my first fish. I'm not, hap I'm not happy about that. I am happy about that. Uh, but it's got to weigh at least one kilogram, apparently. I feel like the tutorial kind of fell on its ass. Maybe that's why the game hung before. So, um, we'll release... We'll keep this guy... And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to we're going to go back to the house and just see if I can put the fish in a tank somewhere. Uh, so how did I do this? I really want to go through the tutorial. Um, Go to residence. There it is. All right, let's just see if I can do something with the fish. How do I interact with this? I didn't take any photos, so we can't do anything with that. Total fish in aquarium, zero of one. Left mouse button to manage the aquarium. Right mouse button to feed the fish. That's cool. It says left mouse button to manage the aquarium, but it's not... Letting me manage anything at the moment. So, see, this is why I need the tutorial, because I, I don't know how to... I don't know how to do it. I've just put a, I've just put a worm in there. Do you see the worm? <laughs> put a worm in there. It says left mouse button to manage aquarium, but it's not actually doing anything. Right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the profiles, delete this one, and... create it again and then we'll try and do the the tutorial again um so i put it in as my daughter in uk junior and choose let's go fishing yes please show me the tutorial so there needs to be a way of restarting the tutorial see how quickly it loaded there that was like instant here we go. You can move around the fishing ground using the WSAD keys and the mouse. On the right side of the screen, you'll find information about the weather and the equipment you're currently using. Look around the fishing ground and then approach the water. So, 4K on ultimate settings. Look at that heather. That's fantastic. Those mic it's those micro stutters. That's the only problem right now. Just those silly ass little micro stutters. It'd be great if they could just eliminate them. Okay, hang on. I'm on full volume. Okay. So walking on the ground sounds good. But when you're walking on wood. It shouldn't sound the same as it does when you're walking on 
dirt. Now the reason I say that is because it breaks immersion. So I'd like to see that changed. One of the more popular fishing methods is float fishing. Select a float set now by pressing 2. Here she is. The simplest way of casting the rod is the short distance cast. However, keep in mind to aim for a spot with sufficient depth. Prior to casting the rod, you can adjust the float depth with those keys. Right, that answers that question. Perform a short distance cast by pressing and holding PPM. PPM, by the way, I've recently discovered is right mouse button abbreviation in Polish. So uh, that needs to be changed as well for the for the general public who probably wouldn't figure that out. You'd be looking around going, what the hell's PPM? But uh, yeah, I've told you, so now you know. Um, so there's some lily pads there. Look, I'm looking for an area where the fish might be able to hide. That looks pretty good. How cool is that? The line is reeled in by pressing the left mouse button. You can change the reel in speed with the mouse wheel. You can adjust the drag with the plus and minus keys. I hope you can change that. You can also reset the cast by pressing Q. Now fully reel in the line. There we go. You perform the long distance cast by pressing and holding the left mouse button. Perform such a cast now. Let's bang it out right into the middle, see how far we can go. Really difficult to see where it lasted, uh, landed, lasted, landed. Your next task is to catch a fish. You can use the underwater camera by pressing the U key to see what's happening underwater. Wait for the fish to become attracted to the bait. We're in quite a good spot there, actually. Not many fish about, though. Let's reel her in a smidge. I think that looks better. I can see some active fish over there in the background jumping about. Oh, when a fish takes the bait, you must hook it at the right moment to try and make the line as tight as you can. Press the right mouse button to jerk. Once you've hooked a fish, you can freely pull it to shore by pressing and holding left mouse button. Now pull the fish to shore. That's quite a decent looking fish. It seems to have given up quite easily. What is going on now? There we go. Two meters, one meter. Now I press and hold the right mouse button and that's what pulls it in the final distance. After catching a fish, you can either keep it or release it, with each granting you different bonuses. Release the fish now. Next, select a spinning set by pressing 1. I'm not sure I want to release it. So if I press G, oh, I can't get rid of the HUD, but okay, look. That's worth a screenshot, right? Um, so, let's release... I can't believe that. 0 0.7 kilograms, nearly a kilogram. 31 centimeters, worth $5. Uh, gains of 6 experience. So we get 9 XP to release it and 6 XP to keep it. Awesome. Right, let's get on some spinning. It's time for a new type of fishing. In this step, you will learn how to use the spinning method. Now perform a long distance cast by pressing the left mouse button. Guide the lure so that its effectiveness is as high as possible. In the upper right corner of the screen, there's a lure indicator. When it turns green, it means that the effectiveness is increasing. Reduce the retrieval speed to 10% using the mouse wheel and retrieve the lure until you get a bite. Keep casting until you manage to catch a fish. 
So bottom right hand corner you can see the speed is now down to 10. Then I just slowly lure her in. Look at that. How could any fish resist? So the camera is a bit too low. And to be honest, the lure is a bit too low as well. So let's try and get it up there a bit. Then reel it back in. Oh, we have an interested party. Strike. Strike and reel. Increase the reel speed. Now obviously in realistic mode I wouldn't get to see any of this. So it would be a lot harder. But this is a bit of a feisty fish. He's definitely fighting me. So I'm watching the line and the rod and the reel. Because he's putting a bit of pressure on the line there. We got him. We got him. Putting a fish in the net. Select keep to put the fish in your net. The net is used to manage your fish. You can open it by going to the main menu with escape and opening the player profile. Okay. A pretty darn good fish right there. Shame you can't rotate it. I'd like to be able to look at it a bit more closely. So, keep. Pressing M will open the map of a given location. You can use it to teleport to a particular spot by clicking on the fishing ground number or change the weather. Okay, so we can teleport over here. Now we're the other side. You can find all the information you need under the help tab. Is that the end of the tutorial? <laughs> that's it. Okay, so that's what we missed out on. But there's some key things there that I learnt. And you've seen the underwater cam as well. So let's go to profiles and we'll create a new one. We'll click on realistic and we'll choose this. Let's go fishing. So, there are some quests. Uh, this is what we were looking at before. Catch a fish of any species that weighs at least one kilogram. That's a daily quest. We've got weekly quests. Any fish for five points. Quest points zero of 200. And then you have monthly quests, which is quite cool. Now, I just want to check something. Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2 does appear to be a single player game, which is a huge shame, I've got to say. Um, Ultimate Fishing Simulator was multiplayer, but the characters were not very realistic. Um, I was really hoping this would be a multiplayer experience with all these wonderful graphics, but it does look like it's only going to be single player. Oh, no, I didn't mean to click on that. <clears throat> How do I get out of quests? Go back to profiles. Right, okay. Um, should we do a tournament? Let's do a real basic tournament. Total weight of fish, 50 minutes. Many, many minutes. Players tournament. So it's a kind of... A kind of online experience where you can challenge yourself against other players but you won't actually physically see them okay let's go for this one there's only me in it oh this is online tournaments only so it cost me 50 dollars to enter i'm the only participant and it starts... Oh, this is very realistic, then. It starts in 25 minutes and 22 seconds. Is that right? Or maybe you've got 25 minutes and 22 seconds in order to get in. Regular tournament. Okay. Prize pool, $50. We should win this because we're the only participant. All we have to do is catch a fish. 
and we're good to go. Right. Uh, I don't like this location. I want to find a better one. I'll have a wander around and see what we can find. So it looks like I've got 24 minutes left. A sprint jump. I think we're going to go the other side where the mill is. Um, I, I felt like we had some good spots there earlier. Well, this is not a terrible spot itself, is it? Let's have a little crack here with the float and see what happens. That was not a good cast. Move over where we got a bit more space. There we go. That's a good spot. I like that. So I'm watching the um the float bobble on the right that's because I can't really see the f it's a shame I can't see the float it'd be nice if maybe I could just zoom in on the float a little bit and do it without the HUD I mean I can do it without the HUD but I just I need to be able to zoom in on the float a bit so I can actually see it Now this is only one location, but um, I've got to be honest, the ambient audio, I don't think it quite fits what I'm seeing. There should be like a, a nice gentle water mill sound coming from my right and a very gentle watery sound and ambient bird sounds sort of around me but um, at the moment it sounds like I'm standing on the edge of a waterfall I think the audio could be improved but graphically I am super impressed we've got the mini micro stutters hopefully that can be fixed either by changing the settings in the game or with patches from the developer but um, yeah, I mean it's not it's not terrible. I'm 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 actually very positive about it. I'm just identifying some audio issues at the moment. And audio is all about immersion. Hello. As a tiddler, and we'll take you. Thank you very much. Nice. So what do we got here? This is a 20 centimeter, nearly 21 centimeter quarter of a kilogram very nice keep you that's the competition one let's try a bit further out
there's not a big enough splash i feel when it hits the water i mean how the hell would i see that now if i turn the hud off for ultimate immersion can you see my float i can't see a thing i guess the only oh i'm getting a nibble i'm getting a nibble i'm either getting a nibble or i'm caught on something See, the end of my rod is flicking about a bit. There we go. So I have no idea how much tension is on the line. So I'm having to kind of rely on what I can see and what I can hear. And I can't really hear anything, to be fair. There we go, number two. Uh, slightly smaller not quite as good but we'll keep him because I want to see if I can put him in one of the uh, one of the fish tanks at home uh, got hooked on the ground okay Am I going to lose the line? Do you see how it's pulling? No, I think we're okay. I thought I got hooked on something. Right, let's try that again. Point with the rod and cast. I saw it landed that time for the first time. All right. Getting a bite already. That's crazy. felt like a bite it's really lacking in audio there should be some sort of rod tension noise and other such things I mean I'm catching tiddlers today this is probably the smallest of the lot yeah, look at that. Teeny tiny little bubba. But we'll keep him anyway. How long left? 15 minutes. Let's try over this side. We'll have one more go on the float and then we'll switch over to the spinner.
Let me give this a... Oh, 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 oh. That was a big nibble. Is he going to come back and have another go? He's definitely nibbling. Come on, fella. Have a little bite. I think we got him. I'm not sure. That may have been a bit too early. Is there a fish on there? I can't tell. Nah, I missed him. Well, that's cool. Um, it's nice to be able to showcase some successful and some failure uh, attempts. All right, let's uh, let's go straight down the middle and see what happens. I'm going to drop my speed to ten percent, and we'll just reel in nice and slow, and we'll see what happens. Got about 12 minutes left, so got a good chance of catching something at least. No guarantees, of course. pulling quite a bit because of a fish or is it just catching on something oh, there's a fish on it we got one oh, what's this little tiddler bloody hell what was going on there this is a pumpkin seed. First one. 0 0.1 kilograms, 16 centimetres in length. Very nice. We'll keep it. Because I want to see what it looks like in the... Uh, in the fish tank back at base. difficult to know if it's catching on the ground or whether it's being that feels like a fish to me I may have lost him I thought it was a duck for a second then I think I've lost him damn it Right by the rocks that time. That was nice. Let's see what we get. kind of difficult to uh, change the the speed 
whilst reeling it in. I think we got him. I think we got him. Oh, hello. A brown bullhead. 0.2 kilograms. 24 centimetres in length. Quite happy with that. Definitely keeping you, fella. Oh, catch this many fish of a given species. Five. We've achieved one of our uh, objectives. All right, let's go again. Go this side this time. Yeah, that's a catch. Yeah, I think we got a proper fish on this time. That we've caught something on the on the floor. Again, it's very difficult to tell how much tension is on the line because playing in hardcore mode you don't have any of that UI graphic to work with oh there he is just saw a glimpse of him it's all on kind of guesswork He's definitely fighting. He's more fighty than the other fish we've caught. This is definitely more of a challenge. Don't want to lose this one. May have to in uh, increase the drag. Actually, drag is already 70%. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I think he's close, but... doesn't want to come in he doesn't like it there he is I had him I saw him got him hey look at that that's a one point one point eight kilogram I think at maximum weight Oh, come on. Okay, so give me a 1.71 kilogram. That's a sockeye salmon. That's really cool. <clears throat> really impressed with that. Fantastic looking fish. And I think we've achieved. Oh, come on. Catch a fish of any species that weighs at least one kilogram. This is 1.7 kilograms. Oh, I had to keep it before it checked it. That was a lovely catch. That was a bit more of a fight as well, which is nice. All right, let's go one more down the same line. That was pretty good. I enjoyed that. That was a nice little battle. <clears throat> it's definitely more challenging without all of the assists but I'd love to be able to see a replay of my catch and the fight that would be excellent also if you notice the stuff that's floating down the river there it doesn't bob on the water like this stuff does you see how realistic that looks but the stuff that's floating down the river, it doesn't have any of that bob. Very flat. I wonder why that is. Uh, 
Hello. It's pretty close to this shore as well. There he is, look. There he is. I think it's another salmon. Putting up a bit of a fight. Doesn't want to come in this one. There he is, there he is. I'm going to increase my reel speed a little bit. <clears throat> For some reason I'm not reeling in anymore. I'm holding the left mouse button but as you can see, my character's not actually reeling. I don't know why that might be. Looks like a graphical issue. See, I'm reeling in, but he's not actually reeling the, the rod in. Oh, look at that. Slightly smaller than the last one, but it looks bigger. 48 centimeters. Sockeye salmon. We're yeah, doing well. We are doing very well. Right, two minutes left. Let's uh, let's find ourselves another location. Just give it one last blast. See what happens. Going as quick as I can. Okay, this feels good. Don't get caught on the tree. Perfect. Let's see what happens here. One minute and 30 seconds might not be enough. Ready, look. Only a tiddler. Only a tiddler. Come on, forty nine seconds. Get in the bag, you. He's right there, right there, right there. Oh, that's lovely. A brown bullhead. 38.76 centimetres. Wonderful. Well, there we go. 30 seconds remaining of the competition. I enjoyed that. Hopefully uh, you did too. A nice first look, bit of gameplay. <laughs> Most enjoyable. That's a bit loud, the clock. SimUK caught 5.2 kilograms, ranking points 100, reward $35. What? First place in the tournament, you receive 70% of the prize pool. I thought I was going to get all of that $50. So, okay. How much did that cost me to enter? I can't remember. I'm not sure if I made a profit or a loss there, to be honest. Regular tournament number 193. Your position in the tournament. First place. I am a legend. Check me out. With 100 ranking points and $35 in cash. Nice. Right, so I have to go here and open my fishing net. Sell or release? 
These are my options. Sell or release. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can put any of these fish in any of the aquariums. But the tutorial didn't really... See, it says the left mouse button to manage aquarium, but maybe you can't put the fish that you catch in there. Certainly nothing is really working for me on that front. Not to worry though, guys, I'll figure out what the solution is and then I'll come back to you with another video. But hopefully this is a nice opener to uh, Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. And uh, let me know your thoughts because I'm really interested in what you think. See you in the next one. Bye for now.